first we're going to find an equation that relates the water depth to the volume. It's going to be volume is equal to half of the area of the triangle times the length. One half and the area of the triangle is the base times the height and the length which will not change is 12 feet. Now the base and the height are equal. B is equal to H. Therefore the volume is half of 12 which is 6 and H times H which is H squared. DVDT, the derivative of the volume with respect to time is equal to 6 times 2H dH dt, implicit differentiation. DVDT is equal to 12H dH dt. Now let's see what is given for A. The water is being pumped into the trough into the trough at 2 cubic feet per minute. DVDT is equal to 2 cubic feet per minute. They want how fast is the water rising? So they want dHdt when h is equal to one foot dvdt is equal to two cubic feet per minute times 12 feet times one one foot times dh dt to get the HDT, we will divide 2 by 12. And 2 divided by 12 is the same as 1 divided by 6. The HDT is equal to 1 over 6 foot per minute. Now, for B, the HDT is given the rate at which the, the water is rising, 3 eighths of an inch per minute. Now, 3 eighths of an inch, when we convert into foot, will be 1 foot for 12 inches. So, inches will cancel and 3 divided by 12 is the same as 1 divided by 4. So 8 times 4, 32. So 3 eighths of an inch is 1 32 of a foot. So the HDT is 1 over 32 foot per minute. And H is 2 feet. DVDT is what we're looking for. What is DVDT? We're going to use the derivative of the volume with respect to time, which is 12H dH dt. Now, we know that h is 2 and the h dt is equal to 1 over 32 foot per minute therefore dv dt will be 12 feet times 2 feet times 1 over 32 foot per minute 
12 times 2, 24. Foot times foot times foot. Foot cube per minute over 32. 24 divided by 8, 3. 32 divided by 8, 4. So the answer is 3 fourths cubic feet per minute.